So here we are, the finale of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond trade only. And I was like, you guys, I know what's going on. Basically, after every Pokemon I catch, I trade it to a random viewer, which is why our team looks like this. We only have five Pokemon, because Machamp just died. RIP Machamp. But we have uh, your mom, the shiny Snorlax. Uh, I think I want to take the Sorterra because it's a really good level. Yo, encounter. Yo, it's an Octillery. The Octillery was captured. All right, where are my repels? Yo, when I was a kid and didn't know how to read, Correction, I still don't know how to read, but when I was a kid, I would call repels relps, like R-E-L-P. Why did I do that? Why did I just not stop and read it? Okay, let's use waterfall, make it up to the victory road. Okay, what's our encounter gonna be? Yo, Golbat. Three shakes, perfect. Dragon Tamer Andre. Oh, this guy also had his name changed. Um, Just like Taylor in Floroma Town, his name was Andre O N. D-R-E-J. I don't know why they spelled Andre like that. Now it's just Andre like A-N-D-R-E. All right, Pokemon League. This is technically a different area. So we get our final encounter of the run here. And then uh, we're going to get some trades going. So get your switches ready. There are encounters here. Oh, I had a repel. <laughs> final encounter. Yo, it's another Octillery. Wait, it's, it's Jeff, Golbat, and Joe. We got a trade. Okay, you can have Jeff with one F. Oh! This is level 100, I don't know if it's level 100, but it's a shiny Arceus. That's a, that's a good Pokemon. I don't know if we're going to use it though, because it's literally God. Pickle, you can have uh, Golbat. And they're training a Dratini. That's a cool Pokemon. I don't think we're going to use it though, because we're about to fight the Elite Four. You can have Joe. Oh, a Dragonite. That's already fitting. Somebody just traded us a Dratini, now we get a Dragonite. I might actually use that. I'm going to take you, level 63. It's a perfect level. I'll take you over Crobat. A uh, good moveset. Bull Punch, X, or Roost, Sword Stance. I'll probably get rid of Roost, but it's a good moveset. So I think this team is fine. I feel like I have to have Donnie and your mom. Like, these are the two Pokemon we, like, use the most. All right, Pokemon Trainer Jack, what do you got? Leaning with Star Raptor, as usual. Let's go Donnie, our pseudo starter, because we've had this for very long. Oh, he's Pokemon are lower level than I thought. I thought they'd be in the 50s. Well, I guess his other Pokemon are. It's only his first. Goes for Rain Dance, why? I mean, I'll still kill with a Flamethrower, but I'll just have to switch after this. Switches out. So you set up the Rain to switch into your Fire type for Flash Fire. I don't know if that's Big Brain or stupid. We can do it. Down goes Napoleon. Okay, let's heal, buy some items, and then we'll be good to go. We have seven levels on this Dustock, so it should be, yeah, one AKO. To be honest, I think Donnie's going to just one-shot all five of his Pokemon. Like, he has a Beautifly, Vespaquen, Heracross, and Drapion. Oh, the Drapion might live a hit, because it's just not a Bug-type. And the Vespaquen might. Vespaquen's decently bulky. Goes for Earthquake. Wait a sec. Oh, okay, we're fine. If the Flame Orb was activated, that might have knocked us out. And I also didn't expect it to be faster. I am not losing my Fire-type to the Bug-type Elite Four member. Lives it hit. Okay, he might heal here. Because he hasn't used any potions yet this battle. So I'm actually going to go for a crunch just to waste the turn. So that way, no matter what. Like, if he didn't restore, he would die to the crunch. If he does restore, then the earthquake on the following turn will knock out, you know? I misclicked. I clicked grassy train. This is fine. This is fine. We can just heal on the following turn. Oh, wait, it might, it might live now because the grass terrain is going to heal him too. Oh my gosh, wait, that Mystic is huge. Grassy Terrain lowers Earthquake's damage. I completely forgot about that. You know what, Charizard? Just bail me out. Down goes Aaron. No casualties. We did have one blunder there by misclicking and clicking Grassy Terrain and almost screwing us over. This should be easy for Torterra. I think she has like three Pokemon that are four times weak to grass. All right, Torterra, hit him with the Grass Knot. Easy one hit KO. Okay, into Wish Cash. This Wish Cash does have a Rindo Berry. It has Ice Beam? No, it doesn't. You're wrong. It doesn't have Ice Beam. Ice Beam is just a made up social construct. You install fear into you. It doesn't it doesn't have Ice Beam. Oh, it does have Ice Beam. Hmm. But we're living! Dude, that's dirty. The Rindo Berry to Ice Beam. That's scary. That's the luckiest roll in your life. It was pretty lucky. 
Okay, her golem has sturdy, so that's gonna live a hit and then probably cause her to use a potion. Yo, you guys know what a really good nickname for a golem is? Uh, Rock. I've never seen anybody do that before. All right, next up is Flint and his totally fire type team consisting of uh, two fire type Pokemon and three not fire type Pokemon. Yo, Flint has a wide lens hypnosis Rapidash. How lame is that? All right, hopefully we're faster and we just knock it out. We weren't faster. I feel like if I use a full restore, Rapidash is just gonna go for another Hypnosis. But I'm gonna try for it anyway. Come on, Garchomp, you can do it. Iron Tail. It's more damage than I thought it would be. Do not land this Bulldoze. Okay, I meant Hypnosis, and it landed anyway. It's fine, we're gonna full restore again. There's no way you go three for three on Hypnosis, right? Back to full. Goes for Iron Tail again. Uh, critical hits. Let's go for Bulldoze. Goes for Hypnosis. Skillfully dodged. Not a 1-8 KO. He's gonna heal though, so I'm gonna go for it again. Oh, we get the speed drop. Wait, we might be faster now. So it's fine if he heals, because we're gonna get the attack off, and then in the following turn, we might be faster. Yeah, the speed's lowered by two. We're definitely faster. Let's go. Down goes Rapidash. Dude, everything's faster. Missed the high jump kick. Okay, didn't miss. Has cute charm. No. Garchomp. Not like this. Ice Punch? It doesn't have Ice Punch. Ice Punch is a lie. Ice Punch is not a real move. It does not exist. I simply cannot be hit by the move Ice Punch because the move Ice Punch does not exist. Uh, why are we in love with this stupid low punny? It's literally kicking us in the face. Come on, Garchomp. We don't love these low punnies. We don't love low punnies. Okay, apparently we do for this one turn, but next turn we don't. Let's go, let's go, let's go. High jump kick. Missed! Never punished. Dude, I would have died if that landed, I think. I had 60 HP left. I don't know why I didn't heal. Down goes Infernape. Flint. Defeated. Actually, no, I'll leave with Caesar because he's going to leave with a Mr. Mime. And I think I'm going to go into your mom after that and go for crunches. And then on Medicham, I have to switch again. Actually, what am I saying? Caesar is also a bug type. I could just... I could just lead with Caesar and go for swords dances. I'm literally just going to swords dance in its face. Goes for reflect. It doesn't matter because being plus six will just cancel that out, basically. I think being plus two cancels it out even. Isn't that how that works? And he's probably going to go for light screen as well. Yeah, which is a waste of turn. And then it has Dazzling Gleam and Psychic, which we resist. Pretty sure a plus six Bullet Punch is going to knock out through a Reflect when we have six levels on it. All right, let's go for Bullet Punch. This might still one hit KO. Yep. All right, and we also have X Scissor, which is going to be stronger against like everything else. I think Alakazam should go down to a Bullet Punch too. Because Alex seems definitely going to be faster. I just I just want to knock it out. Let's go for Bullet Punch. Perfect. Down it goes. He's going to Potion next turn. Or not, because the Berry might knock him out of range. Zero's this bug. Yeah, so it's just a neutral hit, but it's a plus six neutral hit. Goes for Trick Room, so he's going to be faster on the following turn. But I think that's fine. The Reflect wore off, too. X Scissor's definitely knocking out here. Earthquake's not taking us out. Yeah, we're good. Down goes Bronzong. We didn't need Charizard that battle. So there's Spirit Tomb, the like most annoying Pokemon ever. So I'm gonna go into Charizard, just knock it out. I don't want to deal with this thing. And then after that, we'll switch. Dude, that's the first Pokemon to live a hit from Charizard. This thing don't mess around. Wait, my Lodic's kind of a problem. I could yawn it. And then just spam body slams, maybe. I have thick fat. Um, the problem with yawning it though, it, is it, has, it has flame orb. Wait, chat, if you're burned and then get yawned, you still fall asleep, right? I'm pretty sure you do. Because you can go for rest when you're poisoned and stuff like that. No? Wait, I see a lot of no's. You can't be yawned if you're burned? 
Well, we're gonna find out now for science. There's Ice Beam. We have Thick Fat. It only works for rest? Are you joking right now? There's the burn. Alright, let's find out. Let's go for Body Slam. Decent damage. And the burn. No! I guess that doesn't work. Uh, it doesn't really matter though. I definitely have to switch. I can't go to Torterra. Dude, I think I have to go into Charizard again. Dude, I think I need Charizard to just bail us out. Just go for a nice Dragon Pulse. Screw it. Wait, she's switching too. Kick, wait. Into Lucario. I mean, okay. That's fine. Um, I could just go to Donnie, actually. Donnie will take you out. Goes for Nasty Plot. Okay, that's kind of bad if you're faster. Wait. A plus two Aura Sphere is gonna hurt. And I think he's faster. He is faster. Donnie? Donnie was our starter. Like, our adopted starter. Loved him like a real starter. I don't know how we're going to take out the Rose right now. <laughs> I mean, I guess we have to use Charizard. So we have a couple options here, chat. I think I go to Torterra and Earthquake it. I don't think it's going to be able to one-shot us. I don't want to go to Garchomp. Your mom would die and so would Caesar. and then Charizard's Charizard. Let's go to Torterra. Let's go for Earthquake. Okay, another nasty plot. That's really scary though. Like a plus four Dragon Pulse might even take out Charizard. But it's fine because Torterra knocks it out. Okay. I want to save Torterra for Gastrodon too. There's my Lodic. See, the thing with my Lodic. Could I stay in? Like, I know it has Ice Beam, but we took a... What was it? An Ice Beam from... What did we take an Ice Beam from earlier? From something. I don't know. Do I sure that Charizard could worse be your kill? It, it would, but I didn't want to use Charizard too much. Oh yeah, Wish Cash. But Wish Cash is more of a physical attacker. I think on my Lodic, Ice Beam would knock out Torterra. Dude, do I risk it? I think I might risk it. And just go for Giga Drain. It does have Marvel scale. But then if I lose it, I have to use... Like, the only way I can take out Gastron if I lose Torterra is if I use Charizard. So I think I might just go to Charizard. Now. I'm staying in. You can do it, Torterra. You can do it. Go for a nice Giga Drain. There's the Ice Beam. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. We're gonna live. Okay, I was wrong. We didn't live. But we have Charizard. Charizard will bail us out. Okay. Uh, so Dragon Pulse and Shadow Ball are both 90 base power, right? That's 80, that's 85. Oh, I was wrong. So Dragon Pulse is a bit stronger. So we go for Dragon Pulse. Down goes my Lodic. 
Yeah, I'm still gonna trade the the party that we have uh, after this uh, is over. Some level ups into Roserade. Roserade Gastrodon Garchomp. Roserade. Um, I go to your mom actually and just heal. Go for high horsepower. Your mom is thrilled to bits. Okay, energy ball shouldn't do that much damage. That's a lot more than I thought, but we can take another one. Let's go for high horsepower. Goes for sludge bomb. Skillfully dodging a sludge bomb. Thank you, your mom. Not a 2 hit KO. Oh, Bind Slam is just stronger than I don't know why I thought high horsepower was super effective. Okay, we take the hit. Let's go for Body Slam. We get the para. Huge. She's probably going to heal, though. So I'm going to heal, too, and we'll, we'll both be back to square one, basically. Yeah. So back to square one. Let's go for Body Slams, though, which is just better than high horsepower. If we get a para on this turn, though, that'd be huge. Your mom is thrilled to bits. It's like she's just thrilled. Dodging the energy ball. Your mom's just dodging moves that are 100 accurate somehow. And getting another para. Dude, your mom is just... Oh, the poison point, though. Um, Scald, Earthquake, Sludge Bomb, Rock Team. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go to Charizard. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to handle a Gastron when my Torterra died. Oh, that's true, Revenge and all the buddies from that Rose Raid. Alright, let's go for Shadow Ball. Should be a 1-hit KO. We have 40 levels on it. 1-hit KO. I think all that's left now is her Garchomp. Her Ace. And we also have a Garchomp, so you know what that means. Gotta have an Otter Battle. I've been saving Garchomp in this battle. For this very moment. Problem is her Garchomp is 6 levels above us and has Rough Skin. So, I feel like it's just gonna win the honor battle. Unless we somehow take a hit and one shot it with like a crit. Goes for Swords Dance. Please get a critical hit. Please get a critical hit. A critical hit wouldn't have even killed. Okay, we have to hope that Garchomp goes for Source Dance again, or just randomly clicks Poison Jab, or it somehow misses a move like it did against your mom. We can't switch out, it's an honor battle. Let's go for Dragon Claw. Mm. Down goes Garchomp. Down goes Garchomp. I gotta go to Charizard. Charizard's got to bail us out. Okay, we're still- I was going to say, imagine if that Garchomp was faster. It might have knocked us out. But we did it! All we needed was an overpowered level 100 shiny Pokemon to beat the Elite Four. Who knew? Take that, Cynthia. We won, but at what cost? It costed everything. Actually, your mom still lived, right? I think I think your mom, Caesar, and Charizard lived. That's it. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Charizard. Like the video. Yep, like the video. Click like button right now if you didn't. Your mom, the fan favorites. Torterra, the recent addition. Garchomp, which was just really strong. Our adopted starter, Donnie the Typhlosion. And then of course us, with our stupid hat. Look at the squad. 
Look at that. 14 hours, 36 minutes. That's a lot less than I, time than I thought. What? Why does it say the trade will begin? Does it always say that? Did my game just glitch? It's like the game knows we're doing a trade only Nuzlocke. It's like, did we just discover a glitch? It is poetic. That's going to be it for today, folks. Uh, that concludes our trade only run. That was a lot of fun. It went by a lot better than I thought. I was nervous that like, I would either have the same two people trading every single time. Uh, and people trading me really bad Pokemon and I'd lose, but it was a pretty good mix of really bad Pokemon and really good Pokemon. So I don't know what I'm going to stream next, but I will start a new run when I stream next, most likely. Uh, maybe next weekend, maybe the weekend after, I might take an extended break from streaming. Uh, so yeah, that'll be for today though, folks. Thank you so much for watching. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.